after what I think was an entirety of two days. In today's video, we are accessorizing and customizing my iPad in order to boost productivity in the new year. In the end, you'll get to see the entire end product in its glory, where I give you a what on my iPad. Hi guys. I'm currently cleaning my iPad with a Clorox wipe. This may or may not be smart. Today we are refreshing, resetting our iPad for the new year. I feel like iPads are so underrated, but most of the time it's because we don't know how to use them. No, no that, is that is me. I also just downloaded iOS 16 on here, so it just finished. Come on, come on. Now, as you guys saw, I did buy a few accessories. This was bought renewed from Amazon, which means that it just was cheaper. I highly recommend get like anything refurbished this makes me so excited to take notes that's kind of more what i'm going to be doing instead of writing out my notes i find that typing just goes a lot faster and easier ways to organize we're going to get into the process that is creating a aesthetic ipad this is the current state of it right now I've had this ipad lock screen for a while now this time around i want the lock screen to be simple i do have a few things saved on pinterest so let's find that there so i really really was thinking about maybe doing like this gingham print over here. I like the idea of having like a little bear. I don't know why, like these are all so freaking cute. I love the look of this. I think I'm gonna just download this one because this is potential. Potential lock screen. After taking many notes, I found the MD vinyl, MD clock, and top widgets for the apps I wanted to download to help transform my iPad. I also came across this app that seems to provide kits with themes that can be used for your devices. However, I do think these templates cost a few dollars. So depending on how much time you'd like to spend personalizing your iPad, this app may work for you. Then I began deleting apps that I don't frequently use in order to help declutter the space and begin the transformation process. I'm currently an MD vinyl and I actually ended up connecting my Apple Music. Look at all the widgets they have. Look at this one. This one's so cool. The little radio. I think you do have to pay for it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Limited time offer, $2.99 for lifetime. That's not that bad. I think I'm just gonna go with the little vinyl one right here, which is super cute. I'm definitely gonna add a Notion widget in here just because I frequently use Notion. Here I'm on Widget Smith and I'm just adding the small widget. Honestly, sometimes Widget Smith confuses the frick out of me. Let me just add in this widget that we made. <laughs> I know that I usually have a lot of cuss words and for my new year's resolution I really want to stop cussing as frequently as I do but like I love this just it gives the energy that it needs sometimes here I'm just gonna make a little list on reminders and then turn it into a widget let's go with this little bear that's kind of cute no let's go with the heart I think that's fits the vibe daily to do's Because the process of picking all the app icon covers and putting them into shortcuts took me forever, I decided to do the rest of it off camera, but hopefully you understand the process of making the shortcuts. You'll also see that I decided to stick to a pink and green type of theme with neutrals like beige and cream, and you can find most of the pictures that I used on my Pinterest as well. After what I think was an entirety of two days, I have finished customizing my iPad, and now I'm going to show you guys what's on it. I will say this is a long process, and it's definitely something that 
that takes time and patience. For me, it took a while to find pictures that matched the theme that I had going, but it was well worth it. Also, I've never been more excited to now do schoolwork. This is the first page that you see when you walk into my iPad. The theme here is very much pink, green, beige, and cream. And then there's a little hint of orange that just also somehow fits right in. I think it just adds that pop of color. We'll start off at probably my favorite thing on the screen, which is the MD clock. So this app was a little bit confusing to figure out. But eventually you kind of get the hang of it. In order to see all the other clocks, you just swipe up. Adding the widget is a little confusing because it doesn't show up. It's like blank. So you kind of have to know which widget you're specifically looking for already. Eventually when you do add it in, it shows up after a while. I think it did cost me $3 to get all of the widgets that it provided. Directly to the right of the MD clock, I do have this little quote that says, I can do everything that I set my mind to. It's in this really pretty pink color. This I just got off of Pinterest. Most of these widgets are just like quotes as you guys will see some of them do do things do do things next we have notions i have really tried to learn how to use it so i've been customizing it you're getting like a mini tour i don't know someday i might do a notion update next we have docs <laughs> I don't know why I typed up we are up in this beach. Next, we have good notes. I used to do a lot of notes on this. This is super helpful because I was able to put textbooks on here. I was also able to just import documents. Like this is a very helpful app to have when you're in college, especially when you're just annotating. You don't wanna have the physical textbooks so you can just put them in here. It is beautifully put together. Next, we have this little widget, it's just a little bear. He's cute, he's chilling. We have Gmail. I do have sketchbook. I can show you guys some of the little doodles that I have. They're not that interesting, but I usually use this to add little doodles so that I can put them into my videos or doodle on my thumbnails, like add hearts or outlines or whatever, you know. I'm not really much of a drawer. I'm not good at it, so I don't I wouldn't know what to draw. Next we have YouTube. I love the little icon for this one. I do have this Google one. It's literally so cute. I was just searching up locker storage cabinet. But I do have it, this widget here. It just says, don't give up kit. And that is the motto for myself this year. This next widget over here, I believe it is a stackable widget, which means that you can just put many widgets on top of each other. I have this daily to do's one. It just says exercise, drink water, plan out the day. And then here, I think it's my screen time, which I don't even know how this got in here, but it works. I really like to see my screen time because I try to keep it to minimum. And this is a Notion widget. I think I added this one in. And then this is also just another MD clock widget. Next, we have Pinterest. Feel free to stock my Pinterest. I think it's the most interesting thing out of all my social medias. Everyone who provides inspo there, thank you to you. You have shaped my entire life. This is just the notes app. I was so confused at first. I was like, what is this? Notes to, you know, keep my secrets hidden in there. Next, we have what was my lock screen before, but it's just this pretty little photo. Next, we have Velo. This is something that I'm gonna try to use. I may or may not have used it for this video. We don't know that yet. If you click on caption, there's all these different captions here that you can add onto your video, which I think is super cool. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you could just be editing your videos on here, and I think you can make really beautifully edited videos. That was a tongue twister. Some of the stuff I don't think is free or either you have to pay for it or watch an app. Next we have Netflix. My current watch is Ginny and Georgia. What is your current watch on Netflix, HBO, Disney Plus? Next we have music. This one I debated between like what I should use as the icon for it. This fit perfectly. My current listen is Golden Hour. Last on this page is Grammarly. Guys, if you aren't using Grammarly, this is not even sponsored, but I am excited to go into this new school semester because I have Grammarly now and I think it's gonna make things so much easier. Writing is one of my weaknesses, that is for sure. And I hate it because my dad's a great writer and I'm like, why did I get stuck with the bad writing? Moving on to the next slide. This is a completely different vibe. I don't know why, like they're not the same. I think this one's a little bit softer. First thing here, we have a medium widget that says stop doubting yourself, work hard and make it happen. Next, we have another reminders, but this one is updated daily so I can even update it on my phone and it will just show up on this reminder as well. Then we have Prime Video. I got this app icon cover off of Pinterest. I do have some that are like the same
same theme as you can see with the Prime video and Hulu. Next, we have FaceTime. Next, we have App Store. You already know. Have you guys seen that video where he's like, you already know my name's Topher? I can't escape it. Y'all already know who I am. Um, My name's Topher. So next, we have Disney. I think I just like throwing in different pops of color that just don't match the theme at all, but somehow it works. We have Zoom. I think I'm gonna try to do a lot more Zoom meetings on Zoom instead of my computer this semester. And I will update you guys to let you know if I like it better. Next, we have photos. This is a little fun one. I know I said I would stop cussing, but technically it's a photo. To the right of it, there's this cute little stuffed animal as headphones. I like his vibe. And then the next widget says you can go and do it if you really want it. Here we have another widget. It just says dream until it's your reality. We have reminders and we have Amazon. I have definitely bought something from Amazon every week for the past few months. And that sounds awful. I'm just now realizing that I have two Zoom apps. So we'll delete one of them. I kind of like this one better. It's like a little pretty green color. Next we have photos. Oh my god. I didn't even realize. And the fact that they're like right next to each other also, this just shows that in the process of making all the shortcuts, you just get lost. Next, we have Discord. I'll probably just be using this a lot more this semester to talk with my classmates, you know, ask about how they did on the exam. And it'll make me feel a lot better if they did worse like I did. <laughs> and then this next widget is another quote. Just says, visualize your highest self, then show up as her. Instagram, Canvas, and Hulu. And then we do have this little widget this is also through md clock but this is their i think it's like the 8-bit widget as you guys can see here there's like different roles that you can choose for it i'll show you guys as well on here you can kind of edit the widget we can change the animation and change it to this boo boo guy i do not know what that is yo yo he's so cute moving on to the last slide really did want this page to be more of like the motivating inspiration page kind of like a mini vision board where i just had a bunch of quotes and things that i want to focus on this year you guys can kind of read throughout this screen on the left side this big widget says how to level up your life now this isn't even the entire picture because this widget didn't fit the entire picture in there there's a lot of things that i honestly think is going to level up your life this tiny little widget right here here. You can't really see it. In the middle, it says, I am right where I am supposed to be. Yeah, I couldn't even read it either. The one to the right is like one of my favorites. It says, I am confident I will reach my ambitious goals. And then I do have this huge, large widget to the right of it. It just emphasizes studying. One to the bottom left also. It just says, dear me, I deserve all good things. I'm powerful. I accept myself. It'll all be okay. I'm strong. I will achieve my goals and dreams. I can do it. Beautifully said. Lots of good vibes here. These are just a couple of apps that I was honestly lazy to make shortcuts for. This isn't even music, so I don't even know how this got labeled as music. And then in here, we just have photo and video, which has some editing things, Instagram, some apps that I just didn't end up removing off the screen. Fonto, Visco, these are all just apps I use to edit pictures. Fonto, I always tell you guys I use this for my thumbnails to write text on there. Next we have, this is all just like the miscellaneous ones that come with the is that even the right word, miscellaneous? This is all the apps that kind of already come on the iPad. I don't really need them displayed because in most cases I will just swipe down and kind of search it up on its own. All right, so the final thing is these three little apps down here, which I honestly forgot about. This is just my camera. There's that. Um, The middle one is my messages, which I will not be opening because I don't want to reveal anything there. And then this one is also my FaceTime. Honestly, the bottom three are kind of for aesthetic purposes because I could easily forget what they even are. That is my iPad. She is lovely. She is divine. This was my first What's on my iPad because I finally put some effort into it. I'm gonna go now because I've talked way too much. I'm telling you guys this now. I think this is the year for all of us to succeed, to make strides, and become truly the best versions of ourselves. People talk, but we just don't care. In this